Hello and welcome to this iOS 7 tutorial. Today we are going to cover how to hide the keyboard in your application in two ways. When the user presses the return button and when the user just presses the background. Well, in order to do that, we are going to use the unit converter app we made in the last tutorial. So go ahead and open it. Let's go to Xcode. Fall open recent first let's do it by using the return key go to the header file using the assistant editor and you're gonna create an IV action you're just gonna do it by hand this time so IV action text field return is going to be its name it's going to be a sender this is just going to work exactly as the convert button we're just going to set it to instead of the convert button the return button in the keyboard so now let's implement it go to the implementation file IV action Text field return. Select this extra code here. And we're just going to use one method that is sender resign for responder. What resign for responder is doing is that it is hiding whatever object that called the event. In this case, it is hiding the keyboard where we pressed enter. Now, this code is fine. However, we have to tell our app to execute this code whenever the user presses enter. In order to do that, go to the connections inspector, which is going to be right here. Click on the text field. Remember this thing here. And you're gonna select did end on exit, click here and drag to here, unit converter view controller drop. And in this little window here, you're gonna select text field return. That's the IB action we just created. Click on there. Notice how this hole here just filled. Well, that means that the connection was established. Let's try it. Let's see, center the number of models, 6, now we press return, and the keyboard hides, the app still works fine. Alright, now we want to do it for pressing the background, but first I'm going to show you how to delete this connection we just made. Go ahead and delete the two methods we just made, here and the header file too, but this is not enough. It is important to also delete the connection we made when we dragged and dropped here. Otherwise, if the user presses return, there won't be any method called and our app will crash. So go ahead, click here. And here in the connection inspector again, we're gonna click here and delete the connection we just made. That's it. Now we can go ahead and use the background. Go to the implementation file. This time we are going to create a void. Touches began. Just press tab a couple times. This method is already included in Xcode, that's why we didn't have to include it in our header file. And we are gonna create a touch object, UI touch. Remember to use the pointer, touch equals, let's initialize it, this is a little special, event, all touches, any object. This syntax is a little weird, but it's basically saying that it's creating an object whenever the user touches any object, anything on the screen. 
No. If distance, that's the name of the of the text label we created here. Is first responder and touch view is not equal to distance. Go ahead and resign it. Resign for responder. We finish this by just saying super touches began touches with event event. Double click here. There you go. Alright. Remember this is just creating an object for touch. Then if distance is first responder, which means that whatever we just touch was the distance label here and touch view so whatever we touch next is not distance so it's not the keyboard or here we are gonna hide whatever this first responder was which in this case is the keyboard so go ahead and try it enter something here, 6, now touch here and it hides, works perfectly well, that's it thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and uh, hope to see you again next time